Uh, today I'd like to talk with you about my use and understanding of hypnosis, uh, the challenges I faced along the way, and uh, the visions that I had for myself, where I wanted to go, how I achieved these goals. But I could talk the whole day, uh, but I think it's much more impressive for you if we just did something. My image of a hypnotist was that uh, there was a sleazy guy performing in a crowded uh, bar in front of drunk people making fun of them. I didn't want to become that hypnotist. As a beginner, I didn't know where to start, how to get my head around. So I got the book of the guru of stage hypnosis, which is uh, Orman McGill's book. And again, it's this thick, and I studied it, and again, it was that point. I, I didn't know where to start. <laughs> And uh, so a couple of years ago, I got in touch with Anthony Chakwin and Freddie Chakwin, and we trained um, in this uh, one-day course. And all of a sudden, I got a starting point. I knew how to start. It was do this, do that, and after that, you do this and this. And it got me started. A couple of weeks later, I was on TV. thought, you know what, a river would be nice. So all of a sudden a river appeared and I put my bare feet in the clear ice cold water. I knew it was hallucinating. I knew this was not real, but at the same time it was real. Dude, is it a red or a black color? Okay. No, 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 don't say it, just think. Otherwise we would have a different phenomenon which is called hearing. <laughs> it's not mine really, but thank you so much. Okay, okay. 